Hello. I'm about to tell you how zombies are possible. Earlier this week, you heard about how zombies are not possible, which is a complete and utter lie. No offense. <laughs> but they are. So there are multiple ways that could zombies be possible. One way zombies could be possible is using a thing called chimera virus. Well, a chimera in Greek mythology is a creature that has the head of a goat, the head of a lion, and the head of a dragon, tail of a snake, and the wings of a dragon. And that's what it looks like. It's uh, pretty weird looking. So that's what a, what a chimera virus would look like. It's pretty weird looking. So it's had multiple traits that don't even exist in the natural environment. You could combine things that don't even, even remotely exist. The scientific way we know this as is recombinant DNA technique. A recombinant DNA technique is when we remove the DNA. So here's the DNA of the virus. Inside of it, we can remove one piece of the DNA and replace it with another piece of DNA. Now, how would this be useful to raise zombies? Well, I don't know about you, but we could get zombie-like traits into this DNA. So we could put it, we could make sort of like a virus. Now this, is, this is possible. We scientists have taken out like the DNA of a creature and like put it in. You know, like glowfish? Glowfish are actually an example of recombinant of DNA. Those fish glow because they have been given the traits to glow. The fish, the way they do it is they have a DNA and they have bacteria inside of it. You know how we're learning about plasmids? Well, they can remove the bit of the plasmid and replace it with another piece. And that bacteria will then have a fluoroluminescent sort of characteristic, which would give the fish a fluoroluminescent characteristic, thus allowing it to glow in the dark. Now, we could do this, and it's very, it's very interesting to do it. So, when we do this, the DNA of the virus, I would think we'd have to use something like alphamine. We could use like the characteristics of alphamine, put them into a virus, and the way you put it into a virus is you use a protein cover, and the way a virus attacks a cell, is this is the virus and this is the cell. The virus comes in, it attaches or it sinks into the cell. So the way it attaches on, gets in, it changes the DNA properties. Thus, the virus I'm thinking about, the zombie-like virus, could go up to the brain cells, affect that, and thus cause humans to be aggressive and violent. Now, the way a zombie apocalypse happens is the same way STDs or AIDS would happen. Most people wouldn't show symptoms until several weeks later. And then by then, they would have been in several people the same way most STDs are spread, people don't show symptoms until several weeks later after they have infected hundreds of other, tens of other people through intercourse. <laughs> now, instead of intercourse, it would be through biting people or scratching. Thus, it could be extremely dangerous because most people wouldn't even know they had the virus. And they wouldn't like, they would, they would be in a subconscious state. They wouldn't know they're biting and eating people. And so by then, by the time they start to show signs of deprivedness and start to shrink in and their skin become dark and everything like that, they would have already been intended people. Now, now that there's a zombie apocalypse, there are a few things we could do to stop the zombie apocalypse. One, to stop it, we would have to create an antivirus, which would, in turn, change the properties again and stop it. But usually when there's a virus, you can't kill a virus. It just already comes part of the DNA. If we turn it into a form of bacteria though, we can stop the virus. We can stop the disease of zombitis. It's like I, I, I have officially known it as. So, one thing to show you, in case you're ever being attacked, I require one example. I need to require one person. All right, Kyle. Kyle. Okay, Kyle. 
I want you to act like a zombie. Just walk, just walk around like you'll be normal, just be loopy, crazy, and like sad. <laughs> the best place is to attack a zombie. Since a person is already affected, and most times, I'm pretty sure there wouldn't be a cure the same way as there are no cure for AIDS, is to aim for the brain. <laughs> the brain, small as this one may seem, <laughs> is the main target. Because this is where all the cells are that are having zombies. So if we attack that, and we dislo dislocate that, it would officially end the virus. And that is all. Thank <laughs> you.